Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Prepy Kitchen, we're making coconut shrimp. So let's get started. For this delicious recipe, you'll want two pounds of shrimp, sweetened shredded coconut, that stuff is amazing, panko breadcrumbs, some eggs, flour, salt and pepper, oil for frying, and at the end, we're gonna be dipping it in sweet chili sauce. First off, I wanna talk about the shrimp for just a moment. This recipe, in my humble opinion, is best when you have shrimp with the tail on. They're like little handles, so you can just mm, mm, enjoy them. If someone happens to buy you fully peeled shrimp, that's fine too, I'll show you how to do it. It's okay, still gonna be delicious. Even if your shrimp are totally cleaned when you got them, double check, here I found one with a vein, it's actually a digestive tract, we remove those. They're not delicious. Just make sure the shrimp are totally thawed if you bought them frozen, and also give them a little pat, make sure they're really well drained. Now, we're gonna set up our dredging station. This is really easy and it goes by fast. So in my first bowl, I want 120 grams or one cup of all-purpose flour, to which I am gonna be adding three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, just about, measuring the way my mom does, and then a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Give this a little whisk to mix it up. And you can season this with whatever you'd like. Extra seasonings are always appreciated. Set that aside, and then in another bowl, I'm gonna add three eggs. Just crack them in. This is gonna be the glue that holds our delicious coconut panko situation onto the shrimp. Shrimp are one of my favorite things to eat. I love them in many different preparations. And if you watch this channel, you know I am addicted to coconut. So this is like my dream recipe come true. Give that a quick whisk. The last part of my dredging station is gonna be the coconut panko breadcrumb situation. One and a quarter cup or 70 grams of panko breadcrumbs. They're very light. Oh my gosh, the house is so quiet now. Brian is on a scenic drive with the kids. When they come home, we're gonna have a delicious dinner, which includes these coconut shrimp. This stuff is magic. My brother and I would always just eat tons of it. <laughs> Cause my mom makes German chocolate cakes a lot. 125 grams of sweetened shredded coconut. That's one and a quarter cup too. Scale's done. I'm just gonna use my hands to mix this together because we want all the panko breadcrumbs to be mixed in. And the best way to do that is with your clean fingers. This smells amazing right now. So good. Mm -hmm. I just like start shoveling this into my mouth. <laughs> These shrimp are often served with a delicious sweet chili sauce. If you can't find it at your market, you can use regular chili paste and some light corn syrup. Just mix them up in a bowl and you can actually make it as sweet or spicy as you like. And it's really tasty. Set your dredging station up and you're gonna want a wire rack. You could put it over paper towels or a pan. That's the end. Coconut, egg, flour, shrimp. And because my shrimp are missing their tails, I'm using some tongs. I also have a cast iron skillet at the very end of my assembly line, so since this is gonna go quickly, I'm gonna start heating it up right now. I want one inch of oil, and it's gonna be 350, so a little bit of oil, there we go. All right, let's get started. Grab a shrimp. We're gonna dust it with some of the seasoned flour. That's step one. Give it a bit of egg, that's the glue. And now, you do not just whip your tail around, you wanna cover and press a bit because you really want coconut, panko breadcrumbs, everything amazing on there. You're gonna repeat that process for all of your shrimp and you can do a few at a time, one at a time, whatever you prefer. This is one of those recipes that I would have at restaurants when I was like a teenager. I just love coconut everything and kind of like the taste of tropical flavors. It really brings back a lot of memories. Those restaurants are not where I live now. So I'm on my own and I'm like, recreating like a childhood memory, basically. This recipe is really nice because it comes together just so quickly and it's really easy too. So if you have some helpers in the kitchen that wanna give you a hand, let's make some coconut shrimp. You can serve this with like, ooh, like a nice kind of mango coconut rice to go with this or even a stir fry could be good too. Or like a slaw with some uh, peanuts in it. All these things are delicious options. You can let me know in the comments what you would serve this with or if you would just have this on its own. It's kind of a great snack. You know, maybe you could freeze these. It's kind of interesting. I might give that a try and report back. If you do though, you would freeze them on a sheet of parchment paper, all separate. So make sure they're not like a big mountain. And then once they're completely frozen, you can pop them into a freezer bag and you would just have to defrost slowly. So grab a couple shrimp, toss them around. Mmm. 
always pat that down because you really want as much coconut as possible. If you're wondering what the panko does, it gives you that extra crunch, which is just really great. Getting these without tails might have been a really happy accident. Normally the tails are a great handle, like, mmm, so delicious, and you just like toss them aside, but kind of, that's kind of gross. <laughs> and if you get a bite of the shell, it's not the best either. So here, the whole thing is edible, and you get like even more coconut on top. My one tip for you is if you're using a fork or tongs or whatever to go from station to station in your dredge, press, press, press that coconut on at the end, and then just use your hands to transfer them over here. That way they'll be like fully coated because the tongs kind of rips them off. Ooh, 316, we're getting close, 340. Just keep on dredging and then you'll have like a full assembly line to completion. If you're not comfortable with that, just heat your oil up later, everything will be ready to go. The end of my assembly line is a double layer of paper towels right there and a clean set of tongs. You don't wanna have like the raw tongs and the cooked tongs mixing. Now we're gonna carefully add this into the oil. They cook really quickly. You know shrimp cooks fast. So just keep an eye on it and you're gonna flip them over once. Mmm, I love that sound. One of my favorite things in the world. Gold and brown and so pretty too. Okay, I think I'm fully pro no tail. So while those are frying, we're just continuing our dredge and it happens so quickly now. Pan frying is super easy, but one thing to keep track of is the temperature. Whenever you add these shrimp in, it's gonna drop, but then it'll rise back up, just be fully attuned to what's happening on here or keep a thermometer handy so you can see, hum, is this 350 still? It was a minute ago. You never want to overcook shrimp. Perfectly cooked shrimp is like, this melt in your mouth has a wonderful like buttery texture. If you overcook it, it'll be rubbery. When you fry these, once the outside is golden brown, the inside is perfectly cooked. And they're gonna be amazing, fresh out of the fryer. If people are running late for dinner, things like that happen, I like to warm them back up in my air fryer. Just a couple minutes at 400, heats them back up, keeps them nice and crispy, kind of gives them a recrisp. No one even knows, it, it tastes like they're fresh out of the fryer that way. They're not gonna do well in a microwave. So if you don't have an air fryer, just pop them into the oven on a sheet really quickly at a high heat. If you're getting mountains of coconut and panko onto your shrimp, I am so proud of you. It's gonna be delicious, but you might have a lot of flour, a lot of eggs, and be running low on this. Just add equal parts and you'll be fine. You can keep on going. These shrimp are delicious on their own, but they're that much better with a little homemade sweet chili sauce. Mm. That is sweet, crunchy, spicy, amazing. There aren't gonna be any leftovers. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe, and if you like this video, check out my Easy Dinner playlist.